John, thank you. For President Obama, this has been a Halloween week in which his promises about his health care reform plan have come back to haunt him. Tonight, a new example. Here's Chief National Correspondent Jim Angle. Remember when the President Obama's made several promises about the new health care plan, but two of them collide with each other, including one pledging many people will pay very little. And one study shows that nearly six in ten uninsured Americans may find coverage for a hundred bucks a month or less. He also made this promise, however. If you like your doctor, you will be able to keep your doctor, period. He said he didn't want to interfere with people's relationships with their doctors, but he can't keep both those promises at the same time. If you want a lower price in an insurance plan, you only put the doctors and hospitals in there that will, re that will take the lowest reimbursement rates. There are much narrower networks uh, than some people are used to, and that's really how insurance companies can bring down their costs, is they negotiate rates with, with providers. Exchanges have lower premiums in part because they have narrow networks. Uh, fewer doctors, fewer hospitals that have agreed to lower payment rates. But none of the details about doctors and hospitals is available on the shopping site for healthcare.gov. In fact, the least expensive plan for a family of four costs $718 a month and carries a $5,000 deductible. Others cost as much as $4,800 a month. Subsidies will help those of modest incomes, of course. The subsidy level is pegged to the second lowest choice in the silver plan, slightly more generous than the bronze plan, but less than the gold and platinum plans. About half of the lower cost plans, though, are HMOs. And they have closed networks, so you're only covered for going to the doctors and hospitals that are part of the network. And not necessarily the specific prescription drugs you take far less than many people may expect. The president says people are going to be really impressed. I believe people are going to be really surprised. Now, when I called the 800 number today from an unlisted phone, I was asked for my name and address. After a few moments on hold, the man on the phone said it appeared I was a member of the media. How he knew that, I have no idea. But then he said he could offer no more information that an advanced resolution specialist would call me in two to five business days. So the site seems to be more successful at identifying reporters than explaining the options and signing people up for health insurance, Brett.